Hi guys, it's Hinda and welcome to Cooking Fantasies. In today's video and as promised in the previous one, we're going to be preparing these delicious chocolate mousse dumps with orange creme insert. And for the base, we're going to be preparing a delicious chocolate short crust or pâte sablée. And we're going to be glazing them with the beautiful chocolate mirror glaze we prepared together in the previous video. I'm a big fan of dome shaped desserts because they look beautiful and I like the surprise elements in the inside. But if you don't have the silicone molds to make the domes, don't worry, you can use the very same recipe to make this very same dessert in a parfait shape using any kind of glasses you have in your kitchen. And at the end they will just look a little bit different but they will still look very beautiful and taste really delicious. And before we start, if you are new to the channel, we make a lot of delicious and easy recipes here. So make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell to get all the notifications. And let's get started. And yes, as always, I'm going to be leaving you down in the description box all the ingredients you're going to need in both the grams and the cups measurements, as well as a link to the full recipe. So let's get baking. First thing we're going to start with is the orange creme for the inserts. First thing we're going to start zesting the orange. So you need of course an organic orange and a big one and try to remove only the orange part, no white parts as this will make your creme bitter. Then save it for later and juice the orange. For the recipe we need about 130 grams of orange juice so go ahead and measure it. If it's not enough go ahead and make some more juice. Then bring it to your stove on a medium heat and let it simmer. And while it's simmering, we're gonna prepare the rest of the ingredients. So add the sugar to the orange zest you just made. And what you wanna do here is use the fingertips to kind of scrub it them together. So you wanna scrub the sugar and the orange zest together to extract all the oils and all the flavors from the zest. And then add the cornstarch to the sugar and orange you just prepared and combine everything together. By now my orange juice has simmered, you know it's ready when it makes the little bubbles and it must be still hot. So go ahead and add it gradually to your mixture of cornstarch, sugar and orange zest. Now that the sugar and the cornstarch have melted, we're gonna pour everything back into the saucepan and bring it back to a stove to cook and thicken while continuously whisking on a medium heat so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. Make sure to cook it enough until it gets thick and creamy. Then remove it from the heat and wait for it to cool before you add in the butter. Uh, it should cool to about 45 degrees Celsius, that's 113 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's gonna take about four to five minutes approximately. When you add the butter, it's gonna melt with the heat. So use an immersion mixer or a hand mixer to mix everything together to have a very nice creamy texture. Now the creme is ready, we have to freeze it for later. I use these cake sickle molds. You can use the specific silicone molds for this. And then place them in the freezer for about two hours until we need them. Next step, we're gonna make the chocolate mousse and this is a very easy and quick chocolate mousse. Start by soaking the gelatin sheets into cold water. In a saucepan, go ahead and add the milk and bring it to simmer. Meanwhile, I'm gonna be melting my chocolate in a microwave or you can also do this in a double boiler. As soon as the milk starts making the little bubbles, I'm gonna remove it from the heat, squeeze the gelatin sheets from all the water and add them directly to the milk while it's still hot. And stir to make sure they are completely melted into the milk. By now the melted chocolate is also ready, make sure it's totally melted and it's very smooth. I'm going to add my milk and gelatin gradually to the melted chocolate on three goes. When you're gonna add the milk and gelatin in the first go to the melted chocolate, you're gonna notice that it's gooey and sticky, it has a weird texture. Don't worry, just keep stirring from the center outwards with your spatula and keep adding the milk and gelatin while stirring and eventually it's gonna nicely melt and come together. By the time you have incorporated the last bit of milk and gelatin into the melted chocolate, you're gonna have a ganache-like texture. So leave it on the side and let's whip the heavy cream. Make sure the heavy cream is cold and chilled before you whip it. If you prefer to, you can add one to two tablespoons of icing sugar to your heavy cream before whipping it. 
In this chocolate mousse recipe, we didn't add any sugar at all. It only has the sweetness from the chocolate. But since we are using dark chocolate, sometimes it tends to be very bitter. You don't want to whip the heavy cream till it's very stiff, just enough to make it a little bit over creamy and that's enough. And now for the last step, we're going to incorporate the chocolate, milk and gelatin mixture into the whipped cream. And finally for the last step, we're going to combine the melted chocolate with the milk and gelatin into the whipped cream. Make sure that this first mixture has slightly cooled, you don't want to add this while it's still very hot. And I'm gonna do this on many goes and I also use a sieve to have an extra creamy texture and get rid of any pieces of chocolate that haven't totally melted for example. And I'm gonna continue until I have co incorporated all the chocolate into the whipped cream and end up with a beautiful and creamy chocolate mousse. And immediately I'm gonna fill the mousse into the silicone domes. If you are doing this dessert in another shape of molds or in glasses to make parfait, go ahead and check the link down the video. I'm gonna be explaining the steps and what to do first and how to do it right to have all the elements at the perfect time and as you see I'm not filling the domes all the way to the top because I'm still going to add the insert now it's time to add the orange insert make sure to take it out of the freezer right at this moment before adding it to your mousse try to center them and not to push them all the way down so that they set just at the center and as I said, these domes is just a suggestion. You can either make it in another shape, you can make it in parfait and assemble them in your beautiful glasses. Or what you can also do is make this dessert one big circle or square or whatever silicone mold you have. And then I'm gonna be adding uh, enough mousse just to cover the inserts and place them in the freezer for at least four hours or even better overnight. And the last thing we're going to be preparing for the dessert is the base, which is going to be a chocolate short crust or pâte sablée. And we're going to start by mixing the butter that should be very soft in room temperature with the sugar. And you don't have to use a kitchen machine for this, you can use a stand mixer, a hand mixer or just a spatula and do this with your hands. And you're going to work the soft butter with the sugar until they are creamy. And then sift in the dry ingredients, which is the all-purpose flour and sweetened cocoa powder and the baking soda. And then we're gonna aromatize our biscuits with some more orange zest. And instead you can use some drops of orange extract if you have that. And then using just a spatula, I'm going to combine all the ingredients together till the dough forms. And this dough doesn't need to be kneaded or overworked, just enough to combine everything together. And then I'm going to transfer it into some plastic wrap, wrap it well with the plastic and leave it in the fridge for at least one hour. After the one hour, I'm going to take my dough out of the fridge and roll it out between two pieces of parchment paper. Of course, you can make the dough in advance even one day before and leave it the longest in the fridge. It doesn't matter, but the minimum is one hour. That's for the butter to harden and make it easier to work with. And then using a circle that has the same diameter as the diameter of the domes we froze the mousse in, I'm going to cut circles and I'm not going to really be cutting them, just make sure that I have enough circles to make bases for all my domes. And then I'm going to bake my biscuit in 180 degrees for 10 minutes. The biscuit will be baked after 10 minutes, so as soon as I take it out of the oven, then I'm going to cut my circles. This method is much better because when you take the biscuit out of the oven, it's still very soft and when you use the cookie cutter, you have a very nice crispy edges. So I'm going to wait slightly for the biscuits to cool and to harden and then I'm going to take my circles. And finally, we're going to assemble our beautiful chocolate mousse domes. Once the domes are frozen, we're going to remove them from the molds and place them on a rack. And we're going to glaze them with the beautiful chocolate mirror glaze we made together in the previous video. I'm going to be leaving the link down in the description box and also here at the corner of the screen. And 
And when you watch the video, you will learn this. You can either make it in advance and warm it to the right temperature we need it to be, or make it and wait for it to cool to the right temperature. And once it's ready, then you're gonna take the domes out of the freezer to glaze them. So no matter how you choose to do it or how you organize your baking steps, the most important thing is that your chocolate mirror glaze should be at 30 degrees Celsius, that's 86 degrees Fahrenheit when you are pouring it over the domes and that the domes should be frozen right out of the freezer. And then pour the glaze in generously on the domes while they are on the rack to make sure that the excess runs out. Immediately and gently take each dome and place it on the biscuit. You want to do this while they are still frozen because if they thaw on the rack they're going to sink. And you can use whatever you like to decorate your domes if you would like to. Just wait for the mirror glaze to sit before you do this. And personally, I like to garnish with a thin piece of orange peel to remind the orange we have in the insert. It takes about three hours for the domes to thaw in the fridge or about two hours in room temperature. So you're gonna have to wait till they thaw for the center to be creamy and not frozen. It seems like it has many steps, but it's totally worth it. If you can organize all your baking steps to freeze things and make things in advance, it actually only has the waiting time, but the working time itself, it's not too much, but it's still very worth it. They taste really nice and they look beautiful. If you still have any questions regarding the recipe, check out the link down in the description box. It's a link to the full recipe with all the steps well explained. Or you can just ask me down in the comment section and I will get back to you. And I really hope you will be trying out this recipe very soon. If you do, please let me know how it turned out. I'm always happy to read from you. And I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell to get all the notifications. And see you soon in a new video. Happy baking!